What's up guys, Strike here. In this short video, I'll be showing mainly just this Darwin Python setup. I'm gonna just make some short videos of each setup and go into like full detail of what they are. So maybe about three minutes or so. So this, of course, is Crystal's. Crystal, if you guys did not know, is a Diamond Python. She's about two meters long, so she will be getting an upgrade soon, but this is what I've currently got her in at the moment. So you can see there she is there. Beautiful snake. If I fucking see her. But the light, unfortunately, doesn't really mess with the camera that good. So it's just a three foot reptile one enclosure. Same size as that. And that's a blonde spotted python down there. The reason why he's got one the same length but not the same height is because carbon pythons slash diamond pythons are mainly arboreal, which means they'll go up into trees, they like to climb. So in the next tank that I get her, hopefully it'll be a lot higher, give her a lot more chance to go up into little branches that I make for her, platforms, etc, etc. But there's not much climbing in here, it's the best I can really do. Got this vine here, got a fake or real vine that goes up to there. I was hoping to get a platform here for her, but I thought to myself there's no point getting a platform if in the next month or so she'll be getting a whole new tank to get all together. But yeah, she still likes it, she still climbs around. I get her out every now and then just so she can have a stretch and so she can get that natu natural sun. Got some fake plants down here. Critter crumble substrate. Water dish. Fake grass there, fake plant. But yeah, this is Crystal, She's a pretty big girl, around maybe two meters, if not a tiny bit more. I tried feeding her yesterday, but unfortunately she didn't eat. So I'm going to try again next week, see if she's going to get hungry yet. Got a 100 watt day bulb, that she's currently trying to wrap herself around. She can't get hot from that, it's a bit, it's a bit hot here, well it's warm there, and it's tiny bit warm there but she can't get burnt from this because it's not even hot down here it's just warm enough for her to wrap around it's not close enough to the bulb which is nice and safe for the snake if it was too close I'd obviously get either a lower voltage or a lower vo same watt bulb or I just simply would get a bigger mesh thing around here because I knew regardless she would be climbing around trying to get to that heat but yeah this is her tank I spray it every chance I can, but since it's been winter, she's been mainly curled up here, or she's been under this. She must be still attached to this. Oh, never mind. She's usually had this originally here, but obviously she moved it, so she was chilling in this corner for about, because that's where her heat mat is, of course, for about the last two months, nearly three months. Now she's been coming out, so I've just turned the day bulb on. And I've turned the heat mat off for now. She's been out and about. The heat mat comes on at night also, by the way. I can't remember what, what the heat was saying mat is. But yeah, this is her setup. If you guys have any questions about this setup or the snake, you can comment down below, let me know. But other than that, I'll talk to you all later.